Hi guys, today I'm showing you how to do the Alpha Broodmother solo with the bare minimum dinos on Ark Survival Ascended. This video was prompted by a comment on my last video so y'all need to comment more and you might just prompt a video. And this is just a disclaimer, this is with the bare minimum so these dinos are nothing special, no mutations, I'm doing it with the bare minimum to show you guys what you have to at least have before even thinking about attempting Alpha Broodmother. Today we will be using Rexes as they get the higher HP and melee boost per level and dino damage multiplier. If these Rexes look familiar, that's because they're the same Rexes from our previous boss fight video, so these were used to do Gamma and Beta. These Rexes are nothing special, they are non-mutated, wild breed with very low stats that anyone can do with any wild 130 plus tame Rexes. And these Rexes have no imprint, so if you manage to get all your boss Rexes on 100% imprint, you're looking at a way stronger boss set. For this solo Alpha Broodmother fight, I'll be using 18 Rexes, 1 Uteranus and 1 Deodon. There will be two major differences between these Rexes now and how they were set up for the last video. Their leveled HP and melee stats will be different and most importantly, their saddles. I'll start with the saddles because if you don't have saddles near enough to these numbers, then you aren't ready for Alpha Broodmother. Don't forget, the Alpha boss fights are end game content. So you should probably stick to beta. It is what it is. I, j I just can't lie to you guys. I'm just going to be honest with you. If you don't have him, don't try alpha just yet. The saddles I recommend are from 60 armor minimum and up to the highs of 80s plus. If you have Rexes that have 60k plus HP, you may stick around the 60 armor range and this would be still fine for the alpha fight and their extra HP will substitute for the loss of armor. Now for the stats. The stats I recommend for Alpha Broodmother, as in the minimal you should have to go into this boss fight, you're looking at 40 to 50,000 HP, 800 to 1,000 melee, and it's almost never enough to pump one more and have less on the other. So don't pump more melee and have less health, or pump more health with less melee. You'll almost always die. If you have super stats and your Rexes can hit the 60k HP with less levels put into them, then you can afford to have more points in your melee or your HP, but just make sure you hit those marks. But again, remember, this is my minimal build so everyone can do it, especially solo. No fancy Rexes, no fancy mutations, just base game wild tame dinos. For your UT and your Deodon, again you need saddles equivalent or higher armor than your Rex saddles. These blueprints are a little bit more easier to get because they do spawn more than the Rex saddles so you should be able to find them in red drops. For your UT, get it to roughly 30,000 HP as if you take any hits from the Alpha Broodmother, you may lose 1k HP per hit. Then with your spare points, pump some stam, usually 3 to 4k to get you through this fight. Melee doesn't really matter too much because this is a support tame and not a battle tame. For your Deodon, I recommend 15 to 20,000 HP and a high saddle blueprint, then all the other points into food. Get this guy up as much as you can in food because the more food he has, the longer he can heal your Rexes for. For the fighting portion of this boss fight, you either want to ride your UT or your Deodon. It all depends on what you're more scared of. Are you scared of losing HP too quickly or not having enough battle power to take down the Alpha Broodmother fast enough? The pig is more troublesome at times as it forgets to heal, so in Alpha, I personally like to use the pig until I'm sure everything is going as planned, then I can switch over mid fight. Turn your UT's auto courage on as this will automatically buff your Rexes making them stronger and more resilient and if you're riding your UT turn on your auto heal of your Deodon. Have both of these tames on passive and ignore group whistle so they don't run into fighting when you don't want them to and die. Make sure your Rexes are on attack target or neutral. It's always best to send them to the Broodmother and not have her come to you. You always want to make some distance between you, your support tames and the fight that's happening with the Alpha Broodmother. For your character, make sure to have some good armor on you and some medical brews in hand just in case anything happens. If you're worried, bring 100 shells and a good pump shotgun in case there's just a little bit of HP left and your Rexes are dying or almost dead just to help them out. Now for the most important thing you can do as a player. Go into this boss fight with the mindset and acceptance that everything may go wrong and you may lose everything you have on you and all your dinos. 
You have to prepare for the worst and hope for the best mentally. You may get arced, but that's okay. All it takes is a little bug and everything might go south. So just remember it is okay to die, especially when it's out for Broodmother. Start the boss fight, and once you're in, hop onto your mount of choice and start using their support skill. I'm healing for the first few minutes as I want to give my Rexes the most heals at the start so they all get time to fall in line and attack properly. I've done this boss fight like hundreds of times so I know when to dismount and when I can't dismount. Always read the room. If like me you get confident with how things are going and you still have your distance between yourself and the broodmother, you can hop onto your other support team to use their support skills. Never panic in a boss fight. If things aren't going your way, never stray away from your game plan. Stay focused and ride it out. If it looks like you're going to lose, you probably will, so there's no point of stressing. Just continue fighting and continue executing your plan. As you can see, a few of my lower stat Rexes were peeled off and killed during the boss fight, but that's okay, it will be easy to replace them, all you need to do is continue buffing and fighting. And just like that, we've done the Alpha Broodmother fight solo with the bare minimum Wild Tame Rexes, low stats, no mutations, and minimal deaths. If your Rexes are a little bit stronger than mine or you have the imprint buff, you may have zero deaths altogether with a minimal dino line. I do these videos to show you guys it's possible. I've played solo for 90% of my arc journey, PvE and PvP, and I've done all the boss fights by myself, solo, except some of the new ones on the end when we're leaving Arc Survival Evolved to Arc Survival Ascended. Never stress about them, but always have a plan. If this video helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe and like comment or something and be like, yo bro, I'm going to try this and let me know how you guys get on doing the boss fights with my tutorials and just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just be cool and shit for me. <laughs> Pop out in the night time with the lights out All the drink is blood, so you know that this is my time Buffy Slayer, human hater, put that bitch in danger Keep it major, no I keep it in the chamber Ice is in the